All right, ladies and gentlemen, it feels like it has been a, uh, a minute since we last did a live stream on the main. Oh, we got the brand new June event. We got Tigra and also Hitmonkey coming today. Uh, I'm very excited to see both of them in the game, man. I was watching, what is that? Like the champion breakdown thing that Dave and John are doing. And Hitmonkey, he just looks stupid. <laughs> but I think he's going to be uh, okay to fight, hopefully. They kind of both look like they could be a bit of a pain in their own different ways. So yeah, I'm a bit nervous about both of them, in all fairness, man. Like, Tigra really does uh, run out the opponent with a lot of uh, special attacks. And she does have unblockable. Uh, unless you've got like a, I think it's a slow exhaustion or weakness on her. So yeah, we're gonna have to see, man. I might get wrecked today, though. But I'm excited, I'm excited. But what's up to live stream chat? Hopefully you're all doing well. Great to see everybody knocking about. Mad love to all of the lads out there. Uh, see MSD, Keith, Ilac, Anish, The Mark. Uh, Fat Flash, <laughs> Gal Void. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go, man. I was uh, a bit too distracted by chat there. Right, come on, new events life. It's go time, boys. Samurai's Journey is now available. Okay, it looks like we've got um, half of the uh, the text in Japanese, I, I believe. But uh, <laughs> Justin, you are having a laugh, mate. You are having a laugh. But uh, let's see what this fed in the duck has as, as notes. I don't think there's anything uh, too significant there. Yeah, it should be fine, man. He's just got like rich get richer in personal space. I think there actually might might even be some cheesy stuff that could be done on that uh, boss. But we're just going to do what we usually do when it comes to these events. We're going to use Domino just to quickly power through some of the easier stuff. Just so we can get to the, um, uh, the big brand new bosses as fast as we possibly can. But damn, chance on fire this evening. Hopefully you're all doing well, though. Hitmonkey will definitely be a god tier or maybe beyond god tier. Well, I think we'll see, man. There's no point. You know, we're five years into the game. We don't want to jump the gun too quickly on champions. But uh, fingers crossed, bro. He does look, uh, you know, he's, he's got some stuff that he can do. He's definitely got a lot of guaranteed crits. Critical bleeds as well. So there might be a little bit of potential there. But mad love to Big Man for the $2 super chat, sir. Absolute mad love there, my dude. Okay, up there is our bobberiest whale of the day in just one moment. But thank you um, uh, very much once again, man. Uh, if there was one 2020 champion I would promote to Beyond God tier. Mm, I'm just trying to think about all the characters this year, man. I don't, I don't have anyone that's like, uh, what was it, just popping out of my head at the moment. You know, maybe like Mojo and Longshot in the right scenario. But I still think they're not really at the same level as a character like Doctor Doom. But Mojo, when he's fully ramped up, he's fun, man. He's really fun. Just hits like a friggin' bulldozer as well when he's got that fury. So yeah, I, I like Mojo, man. I'm a, I'm a little, bit, little bit of a fanboy of Mojo. Yo, see him. Please rate my six-star roster. Yellow Jacket, Gamora, Drax, Awaken Miles, Guillotine, and Loki. <laughs> you still managed to clear Act 6. Dude, props to you for soldiering on, man. Uh, I, I rate that six-star roster. That is a, that's a solid, uh, I would say, two out of ten. It's not quite a one, but I'd, I'd say it's a two, man. It's, uh, yeah, not not great at all. There's just so much, um, there's so much trash in the six-star pool. It's crazy, because, you know, by the time you're collecting like a good amount of six stars you've already got like a, a really good handful of like god tier beyond god tier um uh, five star champions so to get half of those characters man it's like oh okay well this character does <laughs> nothing for me <laughs> it's great uh so yeah I, I know it feels on my free to play accounts man just to get six stars that uh don't really touch the sides or do much and recently you know, actually, in all fairness, on the Cavaliers, man, we've had some great six-star luck. But just on the featured six stars and regular six-star crystals, it yeah, has, has been a little bit dry, my dude. What's up, TJ? Thank you very much for the five-pound super chat. Just came back to the game and glad you're still going strong. Thank you very much, TJ. Dude, I'm just, I'm playing very casually at the moment, man. I uh, made an announcement, uh, I think it was, um, uh, what is it, three, four weeks ago now? So I'm no longer, like, playing in... Um, uh, my alliance, I'm just taking it very chill until they decide to make some big steps to improve the game. So that's my whole thing at the moment. I'm just, I'm just, uh, being casual and enjoying it. And it really has, um, kind of rekindled my enjoyment for the game when I sit down to, like, make videos. I feel, uh, feel a bit more refreshed, man. It's a really, really good time. 
for making that video earlier on uh, what is it dr modox island of wonders <laughs> it's not island of wonders <laughs> but uh that was a, that was a fun video to make the tiger video yesterday was really really fun uh, i'll probably do like one or two more videos on her i've got a uh, via the ccp for a few more days so that's cool man that's very cool Right, so this is the first boss. We got Rich Get Richer, Personal Space, Ven in the Dark. So, uh, yeah, there really, really isn't too much to worry about. I think when he's got a buff, he's going to gain a small passive power gain. Uh, but that really is it. Very, very easy boss for the first one. But, hey, that's what we like to see, man. Nice little warm-up for everybody. What's up to Julian, Captain Bay, Giz? Hopefully you're all doing well. Nice to see you lads knocking about. What do I think of Squirrel Girl? I used to... Um, I uh, use her quite frequently for the Do You Bleed path in Alliance Quest. I thought she was really, really good. Another alternative if you maybe don't have Nick Fury for that. So yeah, I, I like her, man. I really like her, but she's uh, she definitely needs like uh, Deep Wounds to play. Uh, sorry, I'm just having a quick look. Arc Overload. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. There's nothing too special on that Yondu there. Just uh, don't want to use a Mutant Champion or else we get like uh, an additional disadvantage, so... I think we'll just quickly switch over to Nick Fury for the boss, which I think we were probably going to do anyway. How am I coming along? We're locked down. Dude, I just... <laughs> like, my my life... It's changed at the weekends, man, but, like, during the week, I'm just inside, like, playing video games all day, every day, so it hasn't really changed too much. But, uh, yeah, it's it's very weird. Every, every like, you just freaking open Facebook, Twitter, just everywhere's just a mess at the moment, man. So I'm just trying to stay, like, you know, stay just playing games, kind of enjoying myself. Um, and hoping, just, uh, <laughs> time does the world wonders, man. Fingers crossed. But I swear, man, 2020 is, is not our year, lads. It's not our year. But I was I was thinking, like, with the whole lockdown thing, if I was still, like, um, like 14, 15? Because when I was, like, 14, 15, bro, I used to wake up at, like, I don't know, like, 10 o'clock and then game till, like, 2 a.m. <laughs> That's my whole summer holiday. And then just rinse and repeat. I'd be like, bro, if we, I, if I was, like, 10 years younger, this this lockdown would have been, like, would have been a dream, lads. Would have been a dream. But I don't know if I said it, but TJ, thank you very much for the uh, the seven dollar super chat. So I certainly do appreciate it. Or the five British pound super chat, as it was uh, originally said. Hit monkey or Tigro? Who's the better character for this month? Oh, we don't know yet. Um, I think, like, I, my personal feeling is like no character, none of the two characters are going to be um, uh, like game changingly good. But they're they're going to be like fun, quirky additions if people do get them. I just wish. Uh, Tigra did uh, a little bit more, but she is really fun to play, man. Like, uh, I was practicing trying to play her a little bit earlier today, and she's uh, she's difficult to get down, man. Really difficult to get down. But I want to do some uh, really good Realm of Legends takedowns, but yeah, you just need to be friggin' on the ball when it comes to those heavy attacks and intercepts. But I'm excited for Hitmonkey, man. Now that we are back in the CCP, boys, we get that Hitmonkey uh, video at some point. So um, I'm looking forward to that, bro. Looking forward to that. That should be a good time. Hopefully he's not super disappointing. I don't know. It just looked like in terms of his play style from that early video, I think it's going to be hard to, hard to go wrong. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But we've got to fight him today, and they both look a bit annoying to fight. So uh, we will uh, we'll see what we're in store for. Yeah, the Modok. Um, the Modok. I, I like some of the improvements they made to the map. You've got like a lot more variety and choice in comparison to previous Modok slabs. Um, and I like that you can store up your entry tokens and just do it all in one big burst. So I like that stuff. But the rewards. For this game, in my opinion, they are not moving forward um, anywhere near the pace they need to be to keep, like, dedicated players interested. I feel like they're just literally chucking crumbs, man. So, yeah, there's, like, 170 characters in the game, man. 170-odd five-star champions you can get, right? And, like, on a monthly basis, if you do all the stuff... You don't have enough materials to, like, rank 5, 1, 5 star. If you're doing, like, all of the monthly events in that. 
Like, if you count, like, Alliance Quest, Alliance War, then yeah, you do. But I feel like they really need to spice up the monthly stuff. Plus, you got, like, six-star champions as well. Six-star gainers. It's just really terrible, man. And there's so many, like, just rubbish champions in the pool, man. They just, they, they really do need to spice it up and move forward. Getting the love for the game back or still bored? I think, uh, you know, getting off the, the daily grind has certainly, like, made my casual sessions a lot more enjoyable. Like, uh, I, I really did enjoy playing, like, today and yesterday. So, yeah, I think it's one of those things of, like, I'm really just waiting for the next big wave, the next big thing to come out. And that's not going to come for a while. Um, which I think is okay at the moment. You know, it gives me time to focus on other stuff. Okay, we've got Masochism, Rapid Metabolism, Pull, Power Shield. God, how many nodes does this friggin' Ronin want? Uh, I think if we hit him with a Domino Special 2, he's probably dead, though. Yeah, so let's let's go for that. Let's give it a try. But yeah, the thing for me is, like, I want this game to move in a uh, an interesting direction for, like, you know, fun challenges and stuff. And in the short term, bro, we got like, uh, what is it, Varian 5 might come out in like two months, but that's it for like big stuff, I think, for a while. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Although, I am, I'm very excited for Realm of Champions, man. I, I hope they do something really, really good with that game, because like one thing that Seven Deadly Sins has taught me is I really do enjoy the PvP element of games. Like, I, I'm so deep into the PvP in that game at the moment, it's ridiculous, so... Uh, and I think Marvel Realm of Champions, kind of the main focus of the game, is intended to be on PvP. I think it's going to have PvE elements as well. But yeah, hopefully with the delay as well, they've got enough time to make it a really, really good game. And uh, yeah, we can have a bit of fun playing it, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. And it's, um, you know, everything is just so up in the air at the moment. And I think one thing that Marvel's struggling with a little, a little bit at the moment is just the fact that, you know, this year's like dead for movies, man. There are just no movies coming out until like the very end of the year. Then there's going to be a little bit of a Marvel wave for like Black Widow and the Internals and um, what we have coming up after that. Is, is Venom 2 meant to be coming out? Is that early next year? I know at some point, maybe it's like later next year. I know like everything's just been moved around, so yeah. Uh, hard to keep track, man. But I think the year after that, like, uh, what is it, 2022? It's like Black Panther 3. I think there's Spider-Man as well. Actually, Spider-Man might be, like, next year, but really late in the year. I think there's the new Thor as well. Captain Marvel. Yeah, there's just a crazy amount on the cards. So we're gonna, we're gonna hit another big Marvel wave soon, man, and I look forward to it. Yo, what's up, Dexter? Thank you very much for the $10 stream chat, bro. If Caban was going to give us 10k intel, they should have re reset the amount of times you could do epic. What a waste. Yeah, man, that would have definitely been a, um, uh, a really, really nice thing to do. At least, you know, you got a few more rifts. Uh, uh, one of those um, chronometers to, you know, select what you wanted. So, still a bit of a bonus, but... Um, Again, I think it was due to, like, them transferring... I was watching Rich the Man's news video. I think they actually transferred the Intel currency um, over to something new by mistake. And, like, got rid of everybody's or something like that. Yeah, I'm a bit bit behind on the news for that one. But, yeah, thank you very much for the super chat. So I certainly do appreciate it regardless. Alright, let's get a cheeky little intercept. Oh, your boy's still got it! I'm definitely not going to have it when it comes to <laughs> Tiger and Hitmonkey. I'm going to get wrecked. <laughs> but there we go. Nice little pop pop on Domino there. Let's get uh, Dexter up there as our glorious whale. Thank you um, uh, very much. Apparently there is a mystery reward on Master Difficulty. Interesting. Ah, well, I'm curious to find out what that is. If anybody does 100% Master Man, please tweet at me what the mystery reward is. If there uh, is one knocking about. The solo event, how, how's, what's the solo event reaction for chat? I saw somebody, Jay, posted in chat, the solo event is trash. Does, um, chat share those thoughts, or what's on offer, man? <laughs> Let me know in chat right now. I think there's a solo event, solo objectives as well. Something like that. 
But yeah, I'm not going to check right now just because we want to power through to the uh, the final uncollected bosses as quickly as we can. Why did the parries last so long? It's, uh, what is it, Synergy with Massacre and also Red Hulk. So yeah, it's like a domino thing. The Massacre Synergy extends uh, debuff duration by one additional second and this also applies to parries. So basically it's beast. However, this Ronin I think has a node which reduces uh, debuff duration by a full second. So yeah, it makes him a bit annoying. Oh, we got Matador on this fella as well. Okay, this is a bit of an annoying fight. So you got like reduced power gain as well or something like that. Okay, so in order to... Um... Get any damage, we need to hit him with a special attack. <laughs> okay, right, I think we go for a... Yeah, let's just go for this. Come on! Crit, crit! We got no crits, damn it! That's really annoying. Ah, oh, well, next time, if we just get a single crit next time, bro, we're laughing. Okay, I don't want to get him to a, uh... Two bars of power. Go on, let's go, second one. Go on, big fella. Hey, straight in the bin that time. Oh, well, um, <laughs> that point's a bit annoying. There are loads of champions, especially mutant ones, that deal ridiculous damage on their specials, though. So there are uh, quite a few counters to that. But that is definitely the most annoying boss that we fought so far today. Ooh. Right, what do we have here? Oh, we got Hit Monkey. Okay. Um... So each time the defender is knocked down, they gain a cruelty buff. Um, while the defender has a cruelty buff, they can't strike with critical hits, even when the opponent is blocking. Okay. Uh, opponents are treated as mercenary for Hitmonkey's abilities while he is below 35% health. Safeguard as well, and special one bias. Ooh, okay, he's got safeguard. Dude, safeguard's crazy annoying, man. Hmm. Just trying to think um, what we'd like to bring for the Hitmonkey boss. Uh, well, obvi obviously we've got to bring Cyclops for the memes, man. Like, it wouldn't be uh, a first day event if we didn't bring the old uh, bring the old Cyclops on board. Um, and then who else? I think in place of... Actually, let's, let's get Cap and Findy Wall for clearing. And then we, we can bring like a few different options. So we've got uh, characters to play about with here. Should we go for, uh, uh, let's just go for like mid-tier ones, so let's go for like Cable, mid-tier, bottom-tier. <laughs> um, and Gambit as well, Gambit, yeah, and finally, um, Mr. Sinister, I think. Let's go for that, man, we've got a bit of a, bit of a posse now, bit of a, bit of a squad of mutants. So this should be, uh, should be fun, should be, uh, I'm interested to see how, uh, it is to fight Hitmonkey. Yo, what's up, sweetie? Hopefully you're doing well, bro. Good, your How the Duck video. I was uh, having a bit of a play about with that synergy myself, bro. It's fire. It is fire. I'm, I'm probably going to do a video on that um, shortly. But yeah, great, uh, what is it? Labyrinth Starlord takedown, my dude. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Quake disagrees with all the hard content. Yeah, Quake's, Quake's just broken though, bro. She's broken. It's way too good. I underrated Quake for too long, but now uh, in the last, what is it, year and a bit, I've been shown the way, man. It's Quake everything. Sometimes, like, I look at new content and I'm like, there's no way this fight can be quaked. And then like two days later, there's like four videos on YouTube of that fight being quaked. And I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> Life finds a way and quake players, they always find a way, man. They always find a way. If I've learned anything in this game, bro, is never underestimate quake players. They will always make our work. Yo, beast mode. Apologies if I missed your um, first super chat, man. Chat's been moving crazy fast today, but mad love, sir. Thank you very much for all the support. Certainly do appreciate it. 
Uh, what's that? Claire Hellfire bypasses safeguard. Oh my goodness. That is, uh... <laughs> a great use. I mean, there, there are lots of stuff that bypass safeguard. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I love Claire, man. Pitting me out to be this clairvoyant hater. It's not true, man. I gave her so much love in a video uh, a few weeks back. Should I rank 5 my Aegon or a Mega Red both awakened? You probably do want to go for the um, the Aegon, man. Aegon's just a friggin' cheat code for like Labyrinth of Legends, Abyss of Legends. Good portion of stuff in like Act 6 as well. So yeah, I'd, I'd go for the Aegon, man. Right, you've got to smack up this Dark Hawk. He's going to be a bit bit more tanky and a bit more resilient just because he does have the uh, crazy armor from Shield Node. But uh, if we can get a nice little special three, probably, to finish this man off. Let's go for those chain heavies. Beautiful, man. That's what we love to see. Cap, he doesn't care about that, man. He's glancing for days. Ah, perfect. There we go, man. Really, really nice. 21 hits, and then we got Punisher up next, and I think we maybe have one more opponent, and then we've got Hit Monkey. But yeah, he's just over there, left hand side. Actually, I think we might just be uh, at him after this. Let's go for it. I'm, I'm excited to fight Hit Monkey. Feel like I um <laughs> might be laughing a bit, <laughs> but well, uh, we'll see. We'll see. He certainly looks like an interesting character. Dude, that was a clutch little special too there. Right. Oh, we got Squirrel Girl up next. Okay. So Squirrel Girl and then Hit Monkey. <laughs> Very close. Yeah, Dom Domino would be great, as some of you are pointing out for Hit Monkey. But the thing is, like, I don't want to kill him just in like two heavy attacks. I want to. Uh, I want to fight him. See what he's like to fight. Have a have a little bit of a challenge against this lad. Oh no, I would, that was too ambitious, man. Why did I go for another heavy there? It's like, if I can get the heavy <laughs> straight into special one. But of course she was going to punish me with the special one. So yeah, not too bad. Um, but anyway, we have, uh, <laughs> we have arrived. So this is the, uh, the first of the, the two new characters. We've got Hitmonkey here, and he's the boss of the fourth quest. So we've got a uh, team of full mutants and I think we're going to take Cyclops against him he actually doesn't have really that many hit points but he's got a lot of attack so yeah we'll uh, we'll see how we get on here he's got the safeguard node as well which actually is going to make him uh, a bit more beefy in terms of those hit points but I think we'll go in with Cyclops man and see how um this fella feels to fight oh my gosh look at him this man's dripping with swag right here Okay, the question is, can we can we evade a special one? <laughs> I forgot what the special one looks like, man. Okay, come on. I think it's... Oh, it's it's unblockable. Okay, we got to be careful. Oh, bro! I just got battered there, mate. Okay, we need to make sure we try and fully evade that special one. Or maybe... I don't know if we try and push him to special two. Mm. <laughs> Let's try and push him to special two for the memes, but it looks like there's like a, a two-part shot on that special one So as long as you evade both of those you should be fine. He does look like he's gonna be a bit tricky to fight Okay, so his heavy attack is kind of wilding out in the air Maybe if he's knocked, yeah, if he's not knocked down it doesn't trigger um, a mode and then we're good to go Okay, I need to wait till he's landed before punishing that heavy attack. So yeah, if you don't use special attacks, man, I think you can just block it safe. It's good to know. It's good to know. Right, I want to push this man to a special too. He's 
just such a funny looking fella. Okay, come on, mate. What should we go for special three? I'll try and go special three, man. Let's let's see that special three. Oh man, he gives you the eyes. Yeah, battered. <laughs> oh well, uh, that was cool, man. I like how he whips out the knife for the victory as well. But uh, yeah, he seems um. Seems like if you don't use special attacks, there isn't too much to worry about. Because you can just block the uh, the specials. But if you do use a special attack, you trigger... Oh, sorry, if you use a special or knock him down with a heavy attack, you're going to trigger the, the stances, which... Um, yeah, makes him a bit of a pain. But actually, Mr. Sinister actually might be really good for Hitmonkey, because Mr. Sinister, he can block unblockable special attacks. We fully evade that. Okay, I missed missed time that <laughs> second bit there. It's kind of like uh, reminds me a bit of long shots. Um, special one, but yeah, hit monkey. I don't think is going to be too much of a problem for a lot of people. He didn't kind of give me that like terrifying like this is going to be a big problem, boss. So I think he might catch a few people off for the first like attempt or two. But yeah, let me know in the comments section below how you found uh, hit monkey to fight. Um, but yeah. Not not too bad, but who is who's boss number five then? If that was Hitmonkey, maybe maybe Modok, bro. It's clairvoyant, bro. Clairvoyant. Curse of death. Burden of might. Shifting immunity. Enhanced special two. Okay, uh, just domino heavy win game. Yeah, kind of looks like like it. <laughs> Should be fine. <laughs> Uh, right, so let's quickly rebuild the team just to get through this one. And Tigra is the very final boss by the look of it. So let's get in Domino. Let's quickly also bring in Massacre and Red Hulk. And then uh, I think we'll do Clairvoyant with, um, uh, what is it, Red Hulk for a bit of fun. I was banned days after being uncollected. Thoughts? I know, bro. You, you've been, you've been modern, son. <laughs> That's generally the reason people get banned. But I don't know, bro. I don't know. Yeah, he looks really, really cool, man. Like this month is definitely uh, on the more quirky side of Marvel Contest of Champions. You know, some people are going to like it, some people are not going to like it, but I, I still really want, like, Stormbreaker Thor and, like, an endgame version of Thanos. You know, I feel like there were so many amazing characters that could have come out uh, with the release of some of the bigger movies last year that, uh, yeah, we just never really saw. And Gabe was saying, uh, what was it, once on Twitter about um, uh, having a Stormbreaker Thor, but then we, uh, we never got one. He said that very shortly after the release, along with Valkyrie, I think. Replied to Poose? I remember it clearly, because I made a video. I thought it meant, like, because, you know, he's the art director is saying it. I was like, oh, dude, is this, like, official confirmation these characters are coming? Got too excited, man. Got too excited. A year later, bro, no Stormbreaker Thor. Maybe it's, like, something they're saving for, like, Realm of Champions or, I don't know. Maybe something to do with the release of that or the next Thor movie. Maybe they had to delay, but I, I really want to see Stormbreaker Thor, man. That'd be great. Uh, what are my music interests? I uploaded a, uh, what was it, a video, um, I think it was about a month and a half ago, called Seaton's Dutty Bangers 2020. And that's got like a playlist of uh, just all the amazing tunes I listen to. But it, do it does vary, man. Like week to week, my music tastes are, uh, you know, very different. But that's if, that Seaton's Dutty Bangers, that's if you're on a mad one with the lads. That's a playlist you want to whip out if you're, well, you know, maybe if you're in the middle of a um, very intense, like, arena grind, uncollected 100% grind, it's a good playlist to put on. So, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe uh, maybe add it to your Spotify if you want. <laughs> but it's just like, it's, uh, just, what is it, like, grime and rap, just, uh, just absolute bangers, mate, absolute tunes. 
Oh gosh, that's a little bit sloppy. Can I get a parry here? Right, another heavy attack, and Moon Knight is straight in the bin, lads. Yeah, dude, I'm excited for Multiverse of Madness, man. That is that is going to be absolute fire. Hopefully, anyway. But I really, really did enjoy the first Doctor Strange. Like, some of the, what was it, visual effects in that are just like, <laughs> they're like, dude, this stuff's crazy, man. It's just so trancy, but I like it. I like it a lot. But hopefully they just, like, dial it to 11 with the sequel, man. I just want to see, like, more of that. Yo, what's up, Katie Candy? Hopefully you're doing well today. Thank you very much for stopping my live stream this evening. Life transfer on Tigra. In interesting. Very interesting. Curious to see what the other nodes are. Not too long till we get there now. we got two uh, two fights till we're in the final chapter. Yo, what is up, Bentley Nolan? Great to see you knocking about on the channel today. Just got 100% in the Abyss of Legends. Dude, mad congratulations for that. Uh, couldn't have done it without your streams. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I'm glad uh, they got you through the Abyss as well. And uh, hopefully you got some good stuff, Bentley, because I know uh, many people that have done 100% Abyss and just been like, dude, I got just shafted in the worst way possible. Um, but, you know, there is an ab Abyss rewards buff coming out at some point. So, yeah, we got that to look forward to. I didn't, I didn't know there was going to be one, man, but uh, that, was a, that was a small, pleasant surprise. Hopefully there's some spicy stuff to open up. Or oh, there's something like a, another T5CC select that would be so good. Or a six-star Nexus Crystal. Just a little, a little bit more to sweeten the pot. Oh no, I thought I had the right proximity to uh, launch Heavy Counter there. Yeah, I fell a bit. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, I'm, I just realized in this fight, I'm kind of getting rid of all my charges whenever she goes to apply a bleed. Shrugs it off. Oh, no, I thought I had the distance right there. <laughs> no, I messed it up. I need, like, one more dash back and then go into the heavy counter. Oh, she's got a heal. No, we ain't getting through that. Okay, Black Widow, please throw it. Oh. Okay, I've got it this time. No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm a mug. <laughs> oh, bro, she healed so much then. God damn it. Right, this is it. Five combo, special two in the bin, lads. That, that boss is a little bit annoying. But, uh, yeah, let's move on to the final quest now. So we've got Tigra. Smash that play next, and then I think we... I'm just going to check the nodes, and then we'll build a, a team uh, around her. Bring in some half-leveled science champions. So, what do we have here? We've got Bane of Dambala, life transfer. Uh, the duration of her senses is increased by 75%. Every 7 seconds, the next buff triggered by the attacker is immediately nullified. And each time this effect is triggered, the defender gains 50% of a bar of power. Boom. That's probably a, a bit of a problem with um, dexterity, right? It's going to give her a bit of power gain. And we've also got whenever the attacker inflicts the defender with a damaging debuff, the attacker is granted a power gain buff, increasing defensive combat power rate by 10% for 10 seconds. So you don't want too many debuffs, right? Like, th thinking about Tiger and some of the problems fighting her, is, um, is power control going to be the best way to go? Uh, I'm, I'm going to try a, a few different options out. I think we'll bring in a, um, a pretty basic character like Abomination just to test the groundwork and see if like any champion could work. Uh, maybe, maybe a couple of basic champions. Maybe we keep Red Hulk in there as well. Um... Where is Abomination or Joe Fit? Joe Fix it. He's more for the memes. He he's a man more for the memes. Um, and then power control Quake might work out all right. Um, it's part of me that wants to bring in Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. Actually, if we get Spider Gwen's Innovate going, maybe that's a pretty good time. I don't know if she'll still still gain like um uh, power from the node. She might do, but if we can keep in the corner, then maybe not. 
And then finally, I think we'll just bring in like magic to test out as well. Yeah, I think this is a good team, man. We can test out all sorts of different stuff with this uh, setup. So uh, yeah, let's go for it. What's that void? Oh, dude, I think void would be very, very good. I think it might be a bit too good though. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do a second run as well. We'll see how the first run goes and see what stuff we want to test out for the uh, second one. But yeah, I'll, I might bring in. Uh, if I do my five star maxed out void, he's probably gonna be too OP. If we go for the six star and awakened one, maybe. But yeah, if you can just uh, what is it? Reverse that power gain. You uh, you might be laughing. I have a feeling Spider-Gwen's going to be alright, though. I think between Spider-Gwen and Magic, they're going to they're gonna work some wonders. Dude, why am I taking so many hits to the face? I can barely fight King Groot, mate. Right, come on, big fella. Let's get that... Did I really just play into that? <laughs> why is King, King Groot causing me so much hassle all of a sudden? Oh, dude, am I... Wow, God, the combat lag in this game is crazy, man. Kabam, with the patch, bro, these servers, what, what are Kabam doing, man? You know, sort, sort them out, because I was, I had a perfect fight there. I didn't take a single hit. Game just crashed, bro. Ridiculous, ridiculous stuff. Just can't believe it. Can't, cannot believe it. You know, the game's this old. We're having issues like this where, you know, my fight just crashes. Controls are completely unresponsive, man. I was I was playing perfectly, guys. I swear, not a single mistake. You can see in this match now. Look, got the parry there. Got another parry. So I'm right. It's, we've all just clearly seen unac unacceptable stuff. See, that fight, there was no bug, and we played perfectly. So, you know, think about it, guys. Think about it. I know there are some naysayers out there being like, oh, yeah, sure, it was lag or a bug, but we, we just saw it, man. <laughs> uh, do I still play Saw? I, I never played Sorcerer's Arena. My, um, uh, what was it? My little sister likes to play Disney Sorcerer's Arena, though. She enjoys it. Yeah, it's not not quite my cup of tea. Might be enough. I was hoping we get the crit there, man. Don't know if that's too optimistic. Yeah, there we go. Nice little combo there. Oh, thank you very much, Gary. Certainly appreciate the uh, the kind words, and uh, yeah, dude, thank you very much. I, I do hope that um, you know some positive stuff is going to be announced uh, in in the coming weeks. But that's all we can really hope for, man. Is that Kabam? You know they want to pull a fat old finger out and sort out Marvel Contest of Champions. Thinking of making a video on ten changes that I would uh, I would make to the game. I got, I got some sick ideas for changes, man. Just want to like throw out a load of stupid, crazy ideas. I think it would be uh, I think it'd be fun. Ten changes I would make to save MCOC from itself. <laughs> Right, come on, big fella. Oh, no. I th okay, we, we clipped in there at least. This Kingpin is not a, <laughs> not a great matchup for Cap. Got no Fury buff here. Oh, no, he got, got back just in time. Oh, should have gone for heavy counter there. That should still do it. Perfect. 
Yo, Naya, thank you very much for the, uh, what is it, the 35 Zar Super Chat. It's going very well. Hopefully uh, you're keeping um, uh, tidy as well, uh, my friend. But thank you very much for tuning in this evening. Certainly appreciate it. Do I still have Marvel Strike Force on my phone? Nah, bro, I uninstalled it ages ago. <laughs> Screw Marvel Strike Force, man. Uh, it's like the, the worst game, bro. Yo, Dexter, thank you very much for the uh, additional $10 super chat, man. It's going well. Like, um, the missus, she's been on, um, was it furlough at the moment? So she's just like full in DIY mode. So yeah, she's my DIY wife at the moment, mate. Just cracking on. She was uh, putting up some shelves earlier. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of loving it at the moment, bro. Like everything around the house gets done. You know, I get brought food. I can just play games all day, so. We're winning, boys. <laughs> We're not doing too bad. But Dexter, thank you so much once again, man. I certainly do appreciate it. Let's get your Super Chat upgraded to $20 for the blubberiest one of the day. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, everything is good with your place as well. Oh, gosh, DJ. I'm glad to know I'm not the only bit suffering with uh, those kind of problems, man. About Transformers Forge to Fight. You know, actually, I did play Transformers Forge to Fight very casually for, I think, like three weeks earlier this year. I think it was like just after the Abyss, and I was like craving a bit more of a challenge. Um, kind of an alternate MCOC. But uh, yeah, Transformers, I don't know, it, it has a bit on offer, but not really too much. If you're like really into the Marvel Contest of Champions combat and you want something a little bit different, it's, it's not bad for a cheeky little session to uh, download if you're looking to mix it up a bit. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I'm interested if anybody um, uh, does 100% master and finds out this mystery reward. I'd love to know, man. Where's Analyzer? I don't know, bro. I've seen him, like, I swear, on a few YouTube video comment sections in the last couple of months. I think he's he's still knocking about on Twitter. I swear he tweeted something a few weeks ago. But I haven't, I haven't spoken to Analyzer in ages, but man. Hopefully, hopefully he's doing well. I do miss the um the days of Analyzer's content, man. He did some he did some great stuff. I really enjoyed it. It's brought a whole new level to the dedication to the MCOC YouTube grind. And, uh, yeah, it was just it was so funny, uh, what was it? New York Comic Con, was it 17, 18? <laughs> when he showed up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> when is this, uh, new Kabam game gonna land? I don't know, bro. It's, uh, apparently they delayed it till, like, the end of the year, so... Might be a beta at some point before that. But I think with the delay of Marvel movies, they uh, they pushed it back. But yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure. Right, we have uh, we're almost at Tigra. I think we actually might be at her now. <laughs> now we've just run into server connection problems. I'm pretty sure we like go up there, go to the teleport. Uh... Oh, this might be it. Might have arrived. Okay. Right, so we have arrived at the final boss, Tigra, man. So I think we're going to start off with Joe fix it here. Looking at her node, she's got she's got life transfer. She's got Bane of Dambala. She also has 75% increased duration on her senses. And also every 7 seconds, I think this is one to watch out for, the next buff triggered by the attacker immediately gets nullified and she gets 50% of a bar of power. So we need to be careful we don't get too wrecked there. And finally, we've got Power Draw, so whenever the attacker inflicts the defender with a damaging debuff, the attacker is granted a power gain buff, increasing defensive combat power rate by 10% for 10 seconds. So, um, I think theoretically, I'm not too sure if I'm right here, but Power Control is the way to go. So we've got like Joe Fixit, Red Hulk, Spider-Gwen, and also Magic to try out, but I wanted to start with Joe Fixit here. See if we can uh, make it work. Oh, but dude, this life transfer node is nice, man. I'll certainly take that. Just wait for her to land. Okay, we need to try and figure out how to dodge that special two. Is she going to use that special two, bro? 
No, no, it doesn't want to use it. Oh no, it's unblockable in the corner now. Oh mate, <laughs> I'm gonna get wrecked so much. Um, well, yeah, that special two is annoying, bro. That special, I knew that special two was gonna be a pain, but there there's not really like anything you can do about it unless you have a uh, slow exhaustion or weakness applied to her. Um, then it gets rid of the unblockable. But I, th I think power control might be a better option. But I'm gonna try with Red Hulk now. It's gonna be uh, a little bit different. The special one's much easier to bait out. See if we can uh, dodge a special two here. Okay, <laughs> well we managed to dodge it. We lost like all the distance. Uh, though, so that's uh, a bit of a problem. Right, let's see that special three, man. Let's let's go for it. Come on. <laughs> is this a this is a one shot? Are we surviving this? Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Um, she she doesn't seem too bad. I think she's gonna be a bit annoying. Um, but like even without like properly knowing her specials, just kind of like dashing back and getting out the way of her. Um, if you've got the distance, if you're against the wall, you're in big trouble. But if you got the distance, that didn't seem too bad there. Let's go for Spider Gwen up next. But yeah, Red Hulk shredded her man. He did really really well in that matchup. And I think Spider Gwen is going to be decent. But uh, yeah, she's just like, she's just dead after the Red Hulk try. So I think uh, let's let's go again. But honestly, man, for a final uncollected boss, like uh, that wasn't really much uh, resistance. Usually I do get um, uh, a bit humiliated there. Maybe I did on the first try, but uh, it, it didn't seem too bad. But anyway, let's uh, let's try again. Let's go for another run and see what happens there. So, smash the replay, and uh, what, what paths do we have knocking about? Return to Slender. Um, okay, let's not worry about that one for now. Reading's just uh, the worst. Rolling Thunder. Okay, that's a pretty straightforward path there. Yeah, let's just go for the Rolling Thunder one, man. Um, I'm going to take uh, Joe Fix it and Red Hulk out. I think we'll keep in Spider Gwen, we'll keep in Magic. Um, just trying to think who else. I want to see really if power control champions work. So maybe like a, a midway Doc Ock as well as a bit of a alternate option. I think we'll probably just end up using uh, those two in all fairness. Um, who else has got a pretty decent... Like Hawkeye maybe could work out alright. But yeah, I think there's definitely a lot to test um, a bit later this evening as well. But she doesn't seem too bad. What's uh, chat's verdict on Tigra? Red Guardian is going to be mega for that fight. Yeah, dude. He's got, uh, what is it, the way to get rid of unblockable. Also not getting buffs as well. It's like, you know, he's made for that fight, man. Right, can we get a parry? Not quite. Parry here. There we go. Please crit. Oh, perfect, man. Perfect. It's very nice. Don't take out Red Hulk. We've already used Red Hulk, dude. That was just uh, <laughs> too straightforward. Again, my objective is not to get clean kills. It's to test out uh, new characters and see who's uh, potentially viable for the, the bosses. Special 2 is nonsense. The special 2 in like annoying scenarios might be bad. But I think, I think you just power control, you know? So like Doom as well could be crazy for Tigra. Especially with all that power gain she's getting. She's getting like additional buffs as well if you apply debuffs to her. But I think Doom's going to have a freaking field day on that fight if power control does work. I don't remember like anything on the base uh, about like shock immunity or power control reduction.
So yeah, I think there's going to be a laundry list of counters to her. I don't know. I don't know if Ty Hit Monkey is going to be a problem. No, no, he's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it it might might be one of the easier mumps. I don't know if this mumps maybe even easier than the uh, the previous one. Like Black Widow Red Guardian month really wasn't you know too much to deal with. That was a massive issue. So yeah, it's good for good for progressing players, man. It takes a little bit, a little bit of stress off. But I think you know, much like any new champion, <laughs> she's still gonna wreck uh, a lot of people the first time you do fight her, getting used to the animations and all that. But I think once you fight her like one or two times, she would seem quite straightforward. Ah yes, Red Guardian, easy block, mate, easy block. my favorite champion oh i don't know at, at the moment it's probably mojo bro i still love dr doom i got a little bit burnt out of dr doom doing the freaking abyss abyss fights for dr doom <laughs> where you have to like slug away for just you know like red skull man i was fighting red skull for like 45 minutes with dr doom yeah you know, like three times <sighs> such a such a slog but doom's doom's incredible man he really does live up to the hype He's one of those champions that, you know, the more you play, the more you appreciate how good he is. And he might not seem like that great at first, but power control, bro. Those, like, unblockable friggin' special attacks that you can just chain on and loop. <laughs> just just a bit crazy, man. Yo, what's up, Christian Escamilla? Hopefully you're doing well, man. Thank you very much for stopping by the live stream today, dude. Yeah, Hitmonkey was uh, really easy as well. Just gonna make sure you um don't knock him down unless you're prepared to fully evade the special one and then you can just like block everything so yeah i made loads of mistakes on hit monkey i think we still got him down like two and a bit champions and uh one of those tries we were trying to purposely see the uh the special three anyway a cable so yeah i don't i don't think there's been anybody that's been like uh you know raised a massive red flag for me this month Mmm. Yeah, Torch Man is like, you know, just the friggin' mystic slaying god. I imagine he's gonna tear her apart very, very quickly. But I'm, I'm curious to see how Spider Gwen works. Hopefully, I can play Spider Gwen well. We are gonna need to dodge like a special or two. But I think as long as we stay aggressive at the start, kind of get her into the corner if we can. And just push as much as we can. We should be good. Yo, Mojo Vision. Thank you very much for the $20 super chat, bro. Absolute mad love. Use the fart tubba horn bra. Is that... <laughs> fart you... <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what you, you're referring to there. But thank you very much for the $20, bro. I, I appreciate that, man. Oh, I thought we might be able to get through the block there. Very close, though. Worked out nicely. What were the July 4th deals last year? I can't remember off the top of my head, but if you have a look on the um, uh, YouTube archive, it should be there. Um, anyway, we've arrived at Tigra number two. So we're going to be starting off with Spider Gwen. We've got loads of power control champions here. Hopefully we can get a pretty smooth one shot with Spider Gwen. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it works, man. Trying to stay aggressive toward the beginning. Get as much uh, distance. It's a big thing when fighting Tigra. If you want her backed against the uh, the wall. Ooh. Right, as soon as she goes in for those claws, we are we're good to go. Just push her back. Another special one. We go for a cheeky intercept there. All not too bad. Oh my god. Spider Gwen is dominating, mate. Smash out another intercept. Not quite. Watch you didn't get too lucky with the innovates there, but uh, it's all good. One more parry. Oh, let's go! Dude, that was so smooth! <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, Spider Gwen's best champion in this game confirmed, but everybody knows it, man. Everybody knows it. Wow. 
Well, yeah, um, guys, rank up your Spider Gwens. Rank four immediately. You can get those. Uh, what is it? Rank four um, variant gems, and you're you're laughing there. But yeah, I think any power control option is going to be really, really good and effective for Tigra. But in all honesty, man, I think there's like just tons of counters out there pretty much use any champion to fight her. I don't think she has any immunities as well. Probably Archangel her. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts and who worked really, really well to counter Tigra in the live stream chat or the comments section below. Um, but aside from that, thank you all very much for watching today's live stream or video on demand if you're watching the boss highlights. Uh, and yeah, if you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. Right, there we go. Thank you all so much.